More young people are at risk because of the COVID-19 variants. That's according to the South Dakota Department of Health. Four different variants are now reported in 16 counties, but are likely already spreading in others. Kettleland's Tom Hansen looks into how the state is testing for the variants and what they're finding. So far, the state health officials have confirmed 62 variant cases of COVID-19 in South Dakota. Testing in the state is called sentinel surveillance. The state takes a certain portion of all positive specimens and runs them through a complicated testing process that involves sequencing. State epidemiologist Dr. Joshua Clayton says the test results are used as an indicator of wider transmission. Because there, there is not the uh, infrastructure, uh, you know, across you know, any laboratory uh, in the United States uh, to sequence all of the positive specimens uh, that are received. According to the health department, we're seeing the largest increase in infections among people in their 20s and 30s. Health officials urge young people to get vaccinated as more contagious variants could pose a growing danger to them. So at this point, the vast majority of those variants that have been identified have been the B117, which we do know, uh, you know, the, the impact is that it has a, about 50% greater transmission, uh, which means that it's going to uh, uh, be a little bit faster uh, at uh, spreading throughout the community uh, and that, you know, there is potential for um, that virus to cause greater uh, hospitalization uh, and death. Dr. Clayton now says every age group is impacted by the COVID-19 variants. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. There are currently 113 people hospitalized with COVID-19 in South Dakota. The state is not sure how many of those are infected with the new variants.